Hello everyone, in this tutorial I will model that coffee machine and I think you will find great techniques about creating and making cylindric cylindrical shapes so let's start with the image plane I will go to front, we press shift and V go to back and select the image then I will offset my Y axis so it will sit in the floor and I will change my X axis something like that and I will increase my transparency then I will add a cylinder I will just change the height segments to 1 and I will make it bigger until it touches the outer edges Something like that. And I will also turn off caps. Now I can make that editable. Press C. Then I will switch edge mode and select. These two edges, then right click and bevel something like that very little then i will switch points mode the top view and select these points then i will move them until i reach that edge okay now let's delete the other side because I will use symmetry and I will select to cut and I will also press shift and add two edge cuts okay I will duplicate that because I will use that piece later so let's hide that and also let's select the cylinder press alt and select symmetry and change the mirror plane Okay, now I will switch to the edge mod, right click and line cut and enable single line. And I will also increase my transparency to see it better. And I will make a cut right here. And another one. And I will make another cut right here. Then I will switch points mode. And I will delete these points. Then I will delete these polygons. Now I need to fix here. I will select line cut. Make a new pad here. Then select that edge. Right click and melt. Now I will switch to slide and move that point. Now it's time to make the inner extrusion. I will select my object. Switch polygon mode, select all, right click, extrude and turn on caps. Something like that. But as you can see, extrusion is not good to fix that. Go to symmetry and enable these. Now it should be fine. Yeah, now it's perfect. Now I need to move some of the edges. Let's select these ones. And to make that selection, select the first edge, then press Ctrl and Shift, then select the last edge that you want to select. It's gonna make loop selection. Now I will move them and also rotate. Let's make the same thing for these edges. Then I will switch points mode and move that point to here, that one to here. Now let's select the bottom edges. This time I will scale them on the y axis to zero. 
and I will rotate them like that. No, let's fix that edge. Select the edge. Let's to scale. Then I will go to my modeling axis and change my orientation to road and scale it. Okay, now let's add loop cuts to hold the edges. But first, let's put that symmetry into a subdivision surface. Press Alt and select subdivision surface. And I will add my first loop cut here and here. Then here, here, and let's add another one here. Also here and here. Let's press Q to see the result. It's pretty good, but I need to add to here and here. Also, I want these edges to be sharper. To do that, I will double click on them. Then I right click, select slides. And I will press Ctrl and select them. Now let's press Q. Now they are sharper. Okay, now let's try to make the inner part. For that, I will use the cylinder that we made earlier. First, let's put that object in this metro object and select the two objects and press Alt and G. So that's gonna make a group. And this way, symmetry will work. Okay. I need to scale that part until it fits here, like that. But before that, let's position our object. I will rotate it. I will try to align that edge. Something like that. Then I will select the points and I will move them but no I can't because of the orientation of the axis to change that press E go to modeling axis and change it to object and move them now I need to scale it until it fits the inner something like that and also I will move it on the x-axis. Okay, now I will make a loop cut here. Then I will delete these points. Because I fill these gaps with another object. Now I will go to my first object and select these polygons. And right click and split. Now I will connect these two objects. Right click, connect objects, and delete. Now I will switch to points mode and add these points. And I will move this point. Something like that. Then I will select these two edges. Press Ctrl and make uh, extrusions. Then I will switch points mode. Select these points and weld them. And I will scale the bottom points and move them. And I want to fix here. I will slide that point to the next one, but I will be pressing Ctrl, so it's gonna merge. Okay, now let's make the inner extrusions. 
But before that, I want to select these points. Okay, let's select these edges. Press right click, select extrude, or press D. Then extrude. But also, after extrusion, you need to press Shift, then move your mouse so you can change the rotation of the edges. Something like that. And I will deselect these edges so I can move these edges manually. Now I will select the bottom edges. Then I will enable my axis and enable snap. And I will move my axis to here. Then turn off the axis and snap. Then scale to zero. And I will move that edge. Then I will make the same extrusion and I will let these points then move it. Now let's finish that gap. So select the first one, then select the last one, but press Ctrl, Ctrl and Shift then select these top two points the uh, edges then press ctrl and move them on the z-axis so i need to set their position to zero on the z-axis and also their sizes to zero so i can use the symmetry close that gap i will press select bridge Okay, let's turn on the other object. Looks nice, but I need to add some loop cuts. Like here, here. Also, let's add another one here. And I need to remove that edge because I want that part to be softer, like that. And also let's select the inner polygons. Right click, select extrude inner. And extrude. But as you can see, it couldn't reach this part because of the angle so increase your angle above 90 degrees now let's press Q and turn on the other object looks good now let's try to make the top part now I will select my second object and select these edges and I will press Ctrl and move them like that. Then I will deselect these edges and move them. Deselect move one more time. Now I need to move some of the edges to fit here. Let's start with that one one let's press q so we can go to top view scale them to make them straight then enable snap and move them like that
Okay, that's enough. Now I will select the line cut and make a straight cut. Then I will delete the top points. Let's select the first object and turn off snap. I will select these edges, then press Ctrl and move them on the Z axis. Then I will set their position to zero, then their sizes to zero. Now I will select these points, right glitch and belt. Now I will select these points. Then select bevel and let's make the subdivisions 2 and turn on limit and make something like that. Then I will see the points mode, select all and select optimize because we have some duplicated points. Now I will see the slide, press control and add these points to get rid of that triangle. Same here. Okay, let's move these points. And let's press Q to see the result. Yeah, pretty close. Let's select these edges. I will move them like that and I will also move these edges then I will select the cut and make a cut around here and here now I will select these edges and slide them like that and I will do the same thing for that edge loop. Then I will select these polygons and I will delete them. But also let's select these points. And I will also select edge loop and that one too. Now I will Select these edges, press Ctrl and move on the Z axis and set their position and scale to zero. Then I will weld these points. Now let's select these edges, right click, slide, and make an extrusion like that. Let's press Q. Yeah, pretty close. And I will also increase my subdivision. Now let's try to make that part. Okay, let's select that object and select these polygons. Then I will make an extrude inner, something like that, not much. And I will move these polygons. But to make a perfect move, I will go to my move, press E. Then I will, I will change my orientation to normal and I will move them. Something like that, then I will just delete. And I will delete that polygon too. We won't need that. And I will select that point. So select these edges. Press Ctrl and move. Then select the line cut and finish the cut. Now I will at this point now let's select the inner 
pages let's control but before that let's change our orientation the world let's control and move i will also move these points okay let's add a loop cut here and also i will add another one here and get to the triangle like that then i will make a new pet and then the sold that edge Okay, now I will select these inner polygons, right click and split. Then I will select these edges and I will move them, then scale them to zero. Like that. And I will do that one more time. But this time I will switch to scale, press T. And I will also change my Z axis to 100% so I can scale it from the center. Like that. And I will move that edge. Now let's hide the other objects. I will make a loop cut here. Then I will set these points position to zero. Then I will select reach, close that gap. Then I will select close, close polygon hole. Then line cut. And I will finish these cuts. And also these points should be flat like that. Now I will add some new cuts. Also, let's add another one here. Okay, let's turn on all objects. Perfect. And also, let's add another loop cut here. Okay, now let's try to make that piece. First, let's add another cylinder. And make the shape closer to that one. And it looks like I will need eight segments. So let's make it eight rotation segments and make the height segments one. Now I will select my object, put on mo uh, points mode, and slide. Now I will move my points to match the shape of the cylinder like that now I can get rid of that cylinder I'll select these two polygons press ctrl and move then I will delete them now I will select these edges Select slide and also press control. I will do that one more time. Now I will select these inner polygons and I will split them. And I will move edges like that and I will do that one more time. Then I will scale them but make sure that your z is 100 percent then i will press ctrl and make extrusion with the scale tool like that and one last time let's move them on the y-axis but press ctrl and i will add loop cuts and i will also add another one here
Okay, before closing the tutorial, let's finish the bottom part. I'll select these polygons and split. Then I will select the outer edges, press Ctrl and move. And I will switch to scale mode, T. Then I will set the Z to 100. Then scale. Now I will deselect these ones. Press E to switch the move mode, press Ctrl and move them. Then I will set their position and scale to 0. And I will weld these points. Now I will make loop cuts here and here. I will also select these polygons and make an extrude inner. I will solo my object and make a loop cut for the inner part. Like that. Okay guys, that was it, thank you for watching, if you liked the video, remember to like the video, and I see you in the next tutorial, bye.